Well, hello and welcome for another all new and exciting episode of TMB TV presented by E3 Spark Plugs. We are back in Chico, California, and it's the Monster X Tour, and this is always one of our most exciting episodes of the year, and it's going to be bigger and better this year. Three shows, three days, Rockstar, Titan, and the man we're going to start off talking to here, Darren Schnell and Vicor sponsored Bigfoot. Darren, it's been a great start to the 2013 season. Uh, you've done a lot of Monster X Tour this year. You're sitting third in points, right behind Rockstar and Heavy Hitter coming into the weekend here, and I know you've had a lot of fun on tour this year. You know what? All these guys are top-notch trucks. It's a tough field this weekend again. You know Bill's going to do something crazy out there. First time run with Donald since he was in California Kid, so I'm really excited for this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, this is the first time you get to come out here for the Chico experience, which is always pretty wild. We've seen uh, Rockstar and Titan do some crazy things out here. So what's the, what are you going to do to get cow foot in victory lane this weekend? You know what? It's a tough field. You just got to put your foot down. There's some big jumps out there. Just air it out and see where it lands. Now talk a little bit about the race course they've got set up here. It's got two over-under jumps, but you know that's not really something that probably throws you off too much since you're just coming off the debut of Stadium Super Trucks in Phoenix. That was a cool deal. You know, first time you go under a monster truck, I've I felt myself trying to duck in my seat, which you know you can't do very much, but it's still a little unnerving. But once you do it a few times, it's not bad. They got the jumps sculpted really nice to where you just drive off the end of them. Should be a lot of fun. All right, now what would taking a big win here to start off the summer mean to you? Because this is one of the first outdoor tours you get a chance to do, and it's going to be a long, fun summer for Bigfoot. You know what? I'm still getting used to Bigfoot 15. You know, 11 I had dialed in to where I knew what it was going to do. This is the first time outdoors for this old girl. It's going to be a learning experience. Pulling a win out this weekend would be awesome. All right, fans, well, there it is from Darren Schnell, driver of Bigfoot. He's ready for a big weekend, and so are we. Wheelie Racing and Freestyle going to kick it all off for you, and it's coming up next, presented by E3 Spark Plugs.
It did go fast. Wow! Wow! Didn't expect that. I'm not sure what you. What did you expect? How are we doing? I didn't expect that. All right. That was an easy one. <laughs> okay, got him. Okay, there we go. Whoa! Oops, did it again. It, uh, another brand new body down the drain. It uh, totally didn't expect that one coming. It, uh, we got done with the kind of the big air stuff. The transmission, it ended up locking up a governor. We didn't know that, it was stuck first gear, so that whole, just the response time was right there. Those blocks didn't give like I thought they were gonna be. So it, uh, I guess it looked pretty cool. It, uh, it was a soft landing, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder.
Donald, what do we got to do to uh, get yourself prepared for freestyle against trucks like Rockstar? I know that we've got a few little electrical issues and stuff, but Rockstar had some damage this weekend done uh, while on display. Somebody ripped a bunch of wires out, so they're finding new problems all the time. They're going to get that going, but what do you got to do to prepare yourself to get ready for a race against the quality of trucks that we have here tonight? Turn your brain off. Turn the brain off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, these trucks are all, they're going to perform so well, and it's just about being unique and hitting obstacles fast, and keeping your momentum, and, you know, just trying to put on a good show without wrecking the truck too early. Well, guys, I'll tell you what, let's give him a big round. I know he's got to go check the truck over. Donald and Donald here, ladies and gentlemen, in Titan. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate you. We're going to make it happen, man. It's Monster Truck X Tour in the house. Monster Trucks are making it happen. We got the Monster Blog in here, and we're making it happen for you, Chico, right here.
technology delivers superior power and exceptional fuel efficiency. Well, fans, what an incredible first show here. Monster X Tour in Chico never disappoints. And we've been excited about this one for a long time because we have Donald Epidendio and Titan, and he showed why we were excited about it last night here, Friday night. Win and race and win and freestyle. What a performance last night. Tell us about your run. Well, thank you, Ross. The, uh, the racing course is, is awesome. It's lots of fun. It's a double over-under. Uh, this truck handles it real well. We got lucky and won. As far as freestyle goes, we just went out there and hit everything as fast as we could and tried to put on a good show for everybody. And I think it came out pretty good, and hopefully I can do the same tonight. Now talk about airing that truck out, because that's something we just didn't see from a lot of the other guys. You were just hitting the jumps as fast as you could. Did you have it all the way to the floor? Because it seemed like it. <laughs> I did. It was hitting the rev limiter. It was 8,200 RPM, and I was coming up on the jumps. I had nothing left. And you'll see a couple of times where it nosed over, and that's because I had no forward momentum left. But I was out there having a blast, and you start to lose track of what's going on. And, you know, you just try to hit everything as fast as you can, keep up as much momentum as you can, and sometimes you lose track of where your power is at and how much you got left, but we didn't have nothing left. That was all it had. I talk about another great season on Monster Jam Tour. A couple big stadium racing wins this year and uh, another good performance in the Young Guns shootout. It's been a great year for Titan, and now you get to come outdoors and do some Monster X Tour again. Yeah, we were really lucky this year with Monster Jam. We had a great first quarter. Uh, had two stadium wins. We had two arena wins, a freestyle win. It was a really lucky year. Uh, brand new truck, you know. Um, we built the thing in 61 days. It's a Patrick chassis just came together really well and we've had great luck with it and and now I finally get to come back and do the Monster X Tour stuff and you know this is like my family out here and I love Chico California and this is a blast of a show and we got good weather this year last year wasn't so hot for me so I'm looking to redeem myself and and try to at least get another freestyle and race to win this weekend all right fans well there it is from the man himself Don Ep Donald Epidendio and Titan ready for a big Saturday night wheelie racing and freestyle coming your way next on TMB TV
freak like he just pulled off. You know, it's incredible to be able to race against Bigfoot, California Kid, Rockstar. They're all top name trucks. Hardest competitors out there. And to get to meet these guys two nights in a row, it's pretty darn awesome. You know, you started out with Bill King, and when he first started out, he's come a long way. But anytime you get to go against the old ex boss, it's kind of got to be a, a little grudge, ain't it? Almost oh, definitely. I had to drive for Bill King for four months and put up with his BS, and now I finally get to beat him in my own, and it's well worth it. You know, you just come back off the world finals. Uh, Titan has just made a big name out there, going up against the big boys out there, and uh, you're doing a fantastic job. How's that make you feel? Well, thank you very much. It's a lot of fun. This truck is, works really well. It makes it real easy to go out there and put on a show for you guys. You know, we were talking the other day, you were talking about Titan 1, Titan 2, and the differences. What are some of the differences between the trucks? You know, my first truck was uh, it was a lot narrower and a lot shorter and wasn't half as stable as this one. And that's why this one I'm able to take those turns much faster. And it just works really well. It makes it easier on me. What are you going to do for freestyle to get out there and take a win? You know, I'm going to do the same thing I did last night. I'm going to get out there and hold the throttle down and hit everything at least once. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for my buddy, Big Donald.
Well, I got scared. I come over with this. As I was in here, I see. I was like, oh, shit. I don't know what that was all about. Some of the biggest, baddest, toughest trucks on earth. It's lots and lots of monster trucks. The greatest collection of monster truck action we've ever offered. Now, through this special TV offer, you can get two DVDs for the price of one, plus a free collector's edition monster truck poster. Each hour-long DVD is jam-packed with lots of thrills and spills, featuring some of the most famous monster trucks in the world. See wild wheelies, donuts, racing, and radical rollovers, plus amazing motodraws, top trucks, KKJ, Transaurus, and much, much more. This special TV offer is is not available in stores. Remember, you can get two DVDs for the price of one, plus a free monster truck poster. Holy cow! It's lots and lots of monster trucks. You can order the DVD set now and receive a free monster truck poster for $19.95 for shipping. You must be 18 years or older to call 1-888-330-455. Satisfaction guarantee. Parents can call 1-888-330-455. That's 1-888-330-455 for lots of monster trucks. Well, what an incredible freestyle performance you just saw last night from Donald Epidendio and Titan and this man right here, Bill Payne and the Rockstar. Bill, that had to be an incredible amount of fun, and Monster X Tour in Chico always is for you guys. You know, Chico is the first outdoor season of the summer tour. It, uh, it's usually, it's, it's not hard transferring from indoor to outdoor. I'm having a heck of a time this weekend converting from the indoor to the outdoor. It's, you know, everything's a lot faster, so I'm... My cornering is having a little harder time. I keep getting up on two wheels. It's, and then you get some of these big guys out here doing freestyle and everything that I'd normally be doing to, to win a freestyle, these guys are doing. So it's just, now I'm trying to have it to change things up. So all I could do was hold it wide open and hit everything. So it, uh, as you've seen, I mean, it was catching big air. Again, we're still on the, you know, the, the indoor suspension. So as we had to do some shock work today, we ended up blowing four shocks last night, ended up hurting a motor. It, uh, it was a long night, long morning, but the truck's back together. It uh, it started out a new body three days ago. It uh, Two rollovers on it in two days. We still got one more show today. Well, it's been a crazy weekend already, but, you know, this is a Sunday show. It's a big finale. This is kind of one of the biggest weekends on the Monster X Tour all year long. I know you want to win today because Titan's been spending some time in Winter Circle this weekend. I know, and I hate that, you know, but... Uh, that's why you look last night, you know, I ended up joining them in freestyle because they say if you can't beat them, join them. You know, I, I was watching his run and I was thinking, there's no way, there's no way I can beat it. There's no way, I, I mean, he just had a flawless run. You know, he deserved to win 100%. I just wanted to be able to have some fun with him out there. 
Now, big summer tour coming up for Monster X Tour. Uh, winter season was great. You and uh, Derek Anson with Heavy Hitter going back and forth with the points, but now it's outdoors. Uh, talk about trying to get another Monster X Tour championship here this summer. You know, it's I just try to make through every show with as much fun as possible. You know, just like every other Monster X driver out there, it's I'm grinning ear to ear. You know, we always joke about if you could hear us while we're inside the cab as we're running. I mean, we're laughing, we're, we're you know, cheering ourselves on, or, you know, if we do something that, you know, we look stupid, you know, it's we kind of talk to ourselves saying, man, I bet you you feel dumb on that one. It's it's like Friday night when I just tried hitting a single, you know, a car stack and I almost backflipped the thing. It's like, wow, that didn't work, you dummy. You know, it's just things happen. You know, it's it, moss trucks are great in that way because it, it never gets boring. It, it always changes up a little bit. You know, you can be doing this for 10 years and you're never going to know everything. Well, there it is from the man himself, Bill Payne and the Rockstar. He's ready for a big day here Sunday. Monster X Tour, Silver Dollar Speedway in Chico, and Wheelie Racing and Freestyles coming your way next on TMB TV.
come off that jump and I seen like a wad of sparks shoot out and I was like, what the heck is that? And then when I went to stop, I realized what the sparks were. But I had to go do one more jump. Just peachy, I just won racing. Right? What are we fixing here? Uh, for some reason it didn't like those brake pads that were in there. So, I'm gonna try a different set and see if they stay. this weekend how's that feel pretty darn good hopefully I can do the same for free stuff that would be awesome wouldn't it but I think mr. Payne's on a mission I think he wants this one worse than I do right now which is hard to believe but he was smoking pretty bad and shooting some kind of fluid out of the front of that thing so I don't yeah know. I don't know that's just how Rockstar operates right <laughs> he'll make it back he's good tell us about the wheelie contest win <laughs> Did I win? Yeah. I was so disappointed in it. Like I said, it was, it's losing so much oil from the motor problem last night. We didn't have enough time for the gasket to set up on the, on the pan, so it just blew it out instantly. So we lost about six quarts in, in a matter of, what, a minute and a half? So I just went as long as, you know, my oil pressure let me. As soon as the oil pressure dropped, as I got back to the pits, you know, threw another gallon in it. That still wasn't enough, so we went ahead and threw in a couple more quarts. And in racing, it was my visor was so bad, I had to rip the visor off. And then, uh, like I was just telling you, it was so, uh, I think it was spraying me so bad, I couldn't see, you know, just with my normal eyes. It was just blurry. Had to get by as soon as we landed off that big jump. Another shock blew off. It was just bad, you know. We did catch it from last night's damage. These uh, matinee shows, are, they're rough. You've only got uh, a few hours just to be able to get everything ready before a pit party, and it's just... It's biting us in the butt right now. Gonna be okay for freestyle? Oh yeah, I just need to get the shock fixed and get another oil pan gasket in it. Hopefully we'll uh, not lose too much oil. You know, it's good thing is I can always overfill it. That way we get at least, you know, a minute, minute and a half before we run out of oil. It's just getting there.
Alright, we're gonna get your expert opinion on that. My expert opinion. Yeah. Ow. How many people thought it was Charlie Bendo in Titan? How many people thought it was Bill and Lorna Payne in Rockstar? This is close, this is close, I'm telling you, all right, it's down to two people, all right, or two trucks, I mean, here we go, how many people thought it was Titan? How many people thought it was Rockstar? Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Mr. Bill Payne Warner, and everybody who is here, hang on, yeah, it's a good time. Bill, I'll tell you what, man. Anytime you can bring two, anytime that you can get two trucks out on the field, on the track, and make it work like you guys do, it's amazing. It's uh, all weekend, he's been kicking my butt. I'll tell you, he started out driving for me, he started out driving that California kid. It was competition week after week after week. He tore up so much stuff of my own. I am so glad he has his own truck now and he pays for the parts. All weekend long, he's been beating me freestyle. That's what you know, you and I know, I'm known for freestyle. Tearing it up, big air, whatever I can do. I haven't been able to beat him. So you know what, they say if you can't beat him, join him. That's what I did. I got tired of watching him, I'm gonna join him. We had problems with the motor last night. We tried fixing it earlier this morning. The RTV didn't set up yet, so I've got oil just all over me. I, eyes are burning, it was awesome. You know, I couldn't see where I was going. I was, you know, watering. It was a great show. Well, I'll tell you what, you did a great job. Congratulations on a nice win right there. We'll get Donald over here and talk to him for just a second. And uh, I know who has a, a little bit of damage. I tell you what, you know, go to the Monster Truck Entertainment Facebook. Let us know what you guys think about the show. We can never make the show better unless you guys give us the input. What you guys want. Is it more trucks, bigger air, more slap wheelies, more donuts? We want to know what you guys need. Because we want to be here year after year and see these stands full and, and go through the all app lines. When we guys hear you say, Rockstar, you rule, or Titan, you made the show, or whatever it was, we want to see you guys happy. Because with you guys happy, we're happy. That's right. All right, let's get over here and talk to Donald for a second. Donald, I'll tell you what, you got some bent stuff, you got some broken stuff. Bill's got some bent stuff and broken stuff. Uh, I, I don't know, I think it was a close match. You know, anytime me and him get out there, it's, it's pretty crazy. And, and to have to watch us both and focus on one truck, I know it's hard because I watched two trucks freestyle at the same time. But I had a blast. The truck is absolutely destroyed. But good thing I got a month off. That's right, a month off, and it's going to be every day probably pounding nuts and bolts. Yeah, that thing's pretty messed up. But I had a blast. Thank you, Tico. I'll be back next year. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Con los terroristas. Harlem shit.